When I saw Oscar in the chain dress the first day, I thought, that's mine. I like that dress. So I took it from him and gave him a suit instead. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, Same size. Yeah. Yeah. But different. Uh, <laughs> you should have seen it on me. Though. I feel a little bit that there's a Benjamin Button effect on Jessica. I'm completely ignoring the fact that your fingers are my ear. It's you and your own, you know, being. Mm-hmm. I feel always so judged when I speak. Because <laughs> you are being judged. Behind the beard, mm-hmm. yes. The man behind the beard. How do we get to the man behind the beard? <laughs> I was walking into Room's beard first, you know, so I had to really overcome that. I was a woman behind the veil. <laughs> the utmost depth of love for her child, for her, not husband, because he won't marry her. Mm-mm. Um, but for her duke, um, yeah. That's what you relate to? Yeah, I do relate to that. I mean, what else am I going to relate to? Her voice? Maybe. Her superpowers? Mm-hmm. Only on Friday night, baby. <laughs> Which one was yours? The still suit was hard to get into. Uh, that was a very tricky one. Really? And quite constricting, yeah. I loved it. It was so comfortable. Well, you had a Velcro I one have it specially made easy. to me because I'm claustrophobic. Oscar, Rebecca, how y'all doing this morning? Good, man. How you doing? Good. How are you? Sorry. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Do you remember his beard? From the a movie? beard? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? It was an impressive beard. Yeah, it was impressive. That's what I'm trying. She doesn't even remember if I had a beard or not in the movie. She just saw it. Quite a prominent beard. Yeah, it's pretty I, prominent. I, 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 okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I act with what I have in front of me, apparently. <laughs> apparently not. I'm having to play his father. Um, and clearly not old enough to play his father, hence the big beard. Oh, of course, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, so, uh, but I think Doctor Sleep for me. It's hard to scare an older audience. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I find that quite difficult. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I mean, it probably seems obvious to say it, but uh, doing Hamlet. Um, I think just more of a, from the physical standpoint of having to do the four hour production and sometimes, you know. Doctor Sleep and Hamlet, come on. Come on. I'm wow. answering honestly, Bus all right? Me. <laughs> showing off now, he's showing off. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm being when I was around. Right. Right. Oh, that was a bit nerve wracking, but you know, I got that. <sighs> Wow, I'm just gonna pull this out. How do you prep for a day where you're gonna be sitting at the head of the table with uh, with not a lot to cover yourself? An army of fluffers. He does it. <laughs> it's beautiful. I just I just bear it all, bear it all. Uh, I had a cock sock, so uh, I was protected, uh, and everyone else was as Brandon well. Was going, you had a what? A Ooh, sock. We've all been there. We've all right. Yeah. yeah. Really? Well, how often do you use them? Um, you know, whenever I'm in a movie like Dune, so... He's got one on right now, look. Yeah, here. You're just... Here's my Merkin. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh, the most I've ever seen. Tell me about slipping into that costume if you can, man. He's so ripped, I'm not kidding. He is so fit right now. We were sending messages. I'm right fit, mate. I'm right fit. It's like a 20-pack right here. <laughs> uh... 